Aloha folks and welcome to Democracy 3. It's been a long time since I last made a video and finally I am back. We've got all the three uh, mods, or not mods, expansions installed, social engineering, extremism, and clones and drones. Uh, I'm not going to turn on any mods today and we're going to jump straight in. So I've never played as Australia and I think this will be a very good candidate for what we're trying to do today. I think I'm gonna be doing perhaps a fascist religious dictatorship and uh, of all the countries I've looked at it seems like Australia has the largest Christian or like religious population. Also before we start I just have to say any political uh, opinions expressed in this let's play aren't actually my real opinions uh, so please don't judge me for that I'm just playing the game as if I'm trying to create a uh, single party uh, dictatorship Wow, I just won an election. Welcome to your new job, Prime Minister. The lives of all 22,262,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns... And, yeah, whatever, I can't read today. What the hell? Uh, ...that you will need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you're... You face re-election in five years. Well, five years is quite a lot of time. It's like ten terms in the game or something. Uh, actually, no, twenty. So you'll need to monitor the opinion polls of uh, and our party membership. Good luck. All right. So it seems like we have some high unemployment, some high crime, and some pretty shitty GDP and health and poverty and crap. But our education is pretty amazing. So let's just get right down to it. Good thing in the beginning it seems like no one wants to kill me, so that's that's pretty good. Financial data, state health state health service, blah blah blah, pensions, blah blah blah. Let's make this all military in the future. We're gonna conquer the world with our super large military and oppress our citizens. Uh, carbon tax, income tax, carbon tax, that's so huge, Jesus. Hmm, we might raise that. I I don't know, we'll see. So and our Debt, reserves, blah, blah, blah. Uh, our debt is going down. Good, good, good. It seems my cabinet is full of, like, socialists, but also some conservatives all over the place. Good balance, you know. We'll see who we'll have to fire. I think most people here are going to be gone in a few years. But, you know, that's the deal. With uh, Once we have a dictatorship, they won't be able to say anything. Oh my god, what the hell? Our, the National Front has like zero people. Zero. And the Socialist Coalition has millions. Oh my god, that's like 10% of the population are activists. And almost half are members. Or did we real? Was our population really only 22 million? So I think our first action is gonna be something maybe a little bit controversial. Or, well, it's not controversial. 50% of the voters are, seem to be okay with it. So let's go with some community policing because I feel like even though we're trying to implement a, a sort of dictatorship, this is the most effective way to crack down on crime. And that's really what we're trying to do here in the beginning. Not term, I meant like quarter. Yeah, of course. So unemployment, crime is still high, whatever. Uh, only 2% intend to vote for us. That's not very good. Debt protection... Uh, allow these agencies to function. We're gonna go really liberal, conservative, um, economic forecast. Lot. Oh, did that just close? Can we go back? Our budget has a small surplus, so that's good to know. Ooh, here's something popular that people will like, and that's in line with what we're trying to do. We'll also lower our expenditure, so we might actually earn shit. Uh, it's, so it's not expensive. Uh, poor people are gonna get sad. Conservatives and middle income are gonna be happy. So I think we'll go with that and uh, keep going. I think making capitalists happy will also serve in our favor here. We're trying to become a big business country like the US. Oh wait, no, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Apply changes, super costly. Oh, would you look at that? Ban divorcements seems like that might be useful because our population is so religious 
And it doesn't cost anything, so except political capital. Actually pretty expensive. Uh, full ban. Only if dangerous dangerous what? Two year separation. Eh eh liberal this won't be happy. The liberals might actually kill me. But whatever. Next quarter, uh appoint you an ambassador. Well known patriot, yes. Uh budget surplus is still going on fine and we're gonna see what we've achieved. Oh no, unemployment's going up. We really have to fix this. Is it our GDP that sucks? Uh, uh, uncompetitive economy. Hmm, how do we s fix this? You know what, this might work. Let's, uh, get a business startup campaign going. Uh, self-employed will go up. Socialist, capitalist, yes. Let's do it. Next quarter, superhero. What? Oh, oh. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so it's the crime's going down, and that's gonna, I hopefully, hopefully change a few things. I've never really played as trying to create a police state, um, so we'll see what happens. Hmm, you know what? Since we're trying to oppress people already, why not just start with internet sh censorship? You know, why not? People smuggling. Nah, let's deport them. <laughs> oh, we still have a surplus. I mean, I'm incredible. I'm amazing. Why not already jump onto the general media censorship? It's totally gonna work, you know? Let's see. Television, all media monitored. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Banning same sex marriage. We're playing conservative, so let's do that. Oh, yes. Vigilante mobs now at an end. Now, celebrity endorsement. We live in a celebrity age, blah blah blah, but not today. A top star has gone on the record saying that you're doing a super job. Wow. Uh, I guess that's great. Uh, Vig uh what was this? Isabella Elliot, you're currently working as your... You know what, let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. Was it, was it you? Hmm. Antisocial behavior is gonna be gone. Uh, organized crime might stay on a while. But alcohol abuse is gonna uh, go away, I hope. And why is alcohol consumption so high? You know what, let's raise our alcohol tax. Or poverty will go up, but you know, whatever. We're not in it for this, are we? So, boom. Yes, alright. I might actually implement this, even though, uh, you know what. Trade units will be happy, car usage will go down, and that's pretty, uh, pretty good. Another person needs to talk to me? Okay, you're gonna be fired. As I said, oh, poverty's on the way up, but, you know, whatever. Ban? Nah, whatever. Animal testing, we're gonna leave it like this, because, you know... Ooh, 9.6 billion surplus, I d wasn't even noticing. Uh, ooh, human rights society. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna crush them. Were you the one who needed to talk to me? You're fired. Because you're not very loyal. We're also gonna implement this Race Discrimination Act. I think that's that's pretty interesting. Liberals will be happier with me. I, I, but, you know, we have to please every side of the pie. Uh, we're also almost halfway through, and our public support isn't exactly on top. Hmm. This is actually quite interesting. We need to create jobs. Uh, capitalist, socialist, yeah, whatever. Let's do it. Oh, another one. I will fire you. Didn't I just hire you? I swear I just hired you. Oil drilling. Allow the drilling. Yeah. So, poor socialists will be happy. Ah, GDP goes up, middle income, unemployment goes down. I think this is a good initiative for what we were doing. Ah, another guy. I'm gonna fire you too. Uh, what's, what's your name? Travis. Nobel Prize. Amazing. Great, great, great. We have to implement things that are gonna become popular, otherwise we won't be re-elected. So, let's uh, start with Oh, our productivity will go down. Well, that's actually wrong. That's not really what happens in real life. But, whatever. Battenberg Group. 
Hmm, maybe I should start uh, taking care of my own safety. National Armed Forces Week. Why the hell not? Patriot, Patriot membership goes up. Oh, freedom of information. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, but, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Mr. Travis Hill, I totally forgot about you. It's time you leave. There we go. Now, here's something. We can see everything that's unpopular. So. Oh, I can't cancel it. Armed police, foreign investor tax breaks. Yeah, that's. We'll leave that. Alcohol tax, handgun laws. Uh, violent crime goes down. Page, oh. Parents. This is too expensive. I think we need to uh, change our. Uh, change our. Uh, or get some. Uh, oh, we're moving. Down. We're still. We were socialist, but we're gonna start moving down here. Or then up, I think. Uh, however. What was it? Yes. Uh, I think we're gonna accumulate some more political capital. Oh, yes! Crime statisticians are pleased to report that the extent of antisocial behavior in na our nation has fallen considerably, and it is no longer a major cause of crime. Long term planning, remember? Connor Davis, the last man standing. Welfare minister resigns. Oh my god. Oil pipeline attacked? Eh. Just 2% of the vote. Okay, this is not going as good as I had imagined. Ella Ross wants to resign too. Okay, whatever. Appointment of a senior judge. Strong support over human rights. No rulings concerning violent... Harsh sentences. Yeah, yeah. Dictatorship. Um, budget. Oh my god, we have a huge surplus. I think we should invest in something pretty big. Why not a space program? I mean, we have the surplus, right? So that's going to increase our Patriot members, and they're going to like us. We're going to get uh, less unemployment. Religious are going to go down, I guess, so that's not very good. But our technology and state employees will go up. So we'll put up a space station. How long does this uh, take to implement? 16. Oh, God. No, wait. Oh my, I thought we. I had just lost the game. Okay. Socialist plot. Dissatisfaction with your government's policies among some extreme socialists is pushing more and more of them into the arms of the extremist group known as the Revolutionary Army. This organization is pledged to secure a socialist state by any means necessary, and we have heard rumors that they are currently producing arms from foreign... Uh, what? Producing arms from... No, they're not producing arms, they're receiving arms, right? From foreign sympathizers. This is real. This is a real material threat we need to be aware of. Okay. Again, um, more plotting. Uh, stress epidemic. Oh, shut up. I have lit literally no idea what to do right now, because if I put in, like, pr uh, police drones, you know, people won't like me, and I need people to like me. Yet, at the same time, maybe it's the whole media censorship thing that was a bit too much. What if I go with only, I don't know, uh, technology, let's uh, cancel that. I'm just going to see, technology goes there, space program, is going to pull that up. Okay, whatever, you know, <sighs> automation... Technology, science funding. Oh, only microscopes? That's quite uh, sad. Whatever. Today, the evil capitalist lapdog in charge of this country that was you was heroically assassinated by a crack team of comrades from the Revolutionary Army. Our brave soldiers attacked at the very heart of the capitalist machine by opening fire in the middle of a speech to the bank to the banking community. A number of evil fascists were killed, as well as, as the so-called president of our country. Sadly, all the comrades involved in this heroic battle have been killed by government forces. This is a victory for the c common man, and game over for you.
Well, that was one big fail. <sighs> well, uh, you know, it's not that bad. We we almost made five years, um, but, you know, it was a lot harder than I expected. I'm more used to playing in a, in a more democratic fashion, you know, since the game is called Democracy. But, we'll try again if we get 50 likes on this video, alright guys? Uh, and once we get 50 likes, uh, you remind me, and uh, of course, if you don't want me to do another Australian fascist uh, um, video, you can also, you know, suggest in the comments below and tell me what you want to see me do. Uh, however, uh, that's basically it. If you like the video, obviously, you know, like the video uh, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. Also, if you want to go the super extra mile, you can go on um, Patreon uh, and, uh, you know, search me up or just go on, on uh, to the link on my channel page and there you can uh, choose how much you want to uh, pay every month, you know, for my content and, uh, you know, we'll do some great things with, with the money. It, when I get you $20 a month from all my um, Patreon, Patreons, I promise that I'm gonna get a new screen uh, to make sure you know we we go into the more modern age because even though it says that my videos are 1080p, uh, most of you may notice that it's not actually 1080p. It's just below that. In fact, my screen is like 1360 uh, by 768, which is not HD. And you know, getting a better screen would be very nice, not only for me but also for you as uh, the viewer. Anyway, again, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with you later. Farewell.